Before we get into today's show, I have some urgent news to share with you. Premier Insight's financial year ends on June 30th, and we're facing a $52,000 gap in funding that must be closed by that date. The great news is that generous friends of the ministry have offered to match the first $2,000 given to help jumpstart giving towards this goal. So please take a moment today to give your best gift at premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. That's premierinsight.org forward slash Bible in a year. Thank you for understanding how important your gift is today and for giving generously. And now it's time for today's podcast. The Bible in a Year, bringing the Word to life. Father God, the psalmist reminds us, your words are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. Help us to listen to your word and then apply it to our lives today. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 2 I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Saviour, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time, and for this purpose I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. Therefore I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. I also want the women to dress modestly, with decency and propriety adorning themselves not with elaborate hairstyles or gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds appropriate for women who profess to worship God. A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not the one deceived, It was the woman who was deceived and became a sinner. But women will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love and holiness with propriety. Ezekiel chapter 23 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, there were two women, daughters of the same mother. They became prostitutes in Egypt engaging in prostitution from their youth. In that land their breasts were fondled and their virgin bosoms caressed. The elder one was named Ahola and her sister Aholibar. They were mine and gave birth to sons and daughters. Ahola is Samaria and Aholibar is Jerusalem. Ahola engaged in prostitution while she was still mine, and she lusted after her lovers, the Assyrians, warriors clothed in blue, governors and commanders, all of them handsome young men and mounted horsemen. She gave herself as a prostitute to all the elite of the Assyrians and defiled herself with all the idols of everyone she lusted after. She did not give up the prostitution she began in Egypt, when during her youth men slept with her, caressed her virgin bosoms, and poured out their lust on her. Therefore I delivered her into the hands of her lovers, the Assyrians, for whom she lusted. They stripped her naked, took away her sons and daughters, and killed her with the sword. She became a byword among women, and punishment was inflicted on her. Her sister, Aloibar, saw this, yet in her lust and prostitution she was more depraved than her sister. She lusted after the Assyrians, governors and commanders, warriors in full dress 
mounted horsemen, all handsome young men. I saw that she too defiled herself, both of them went the same way. But she carried her prostitution still further. She saw men portrayed on a wall. Figures of Chaldeans portrayed in red, with belts around their waists and flowing turbans on their heads. All of them looked like Babylonian chariot officers, natives of Chaldea. As soon as she saw them, she lusted after them and sent messages to them in Chaldea. Then the Babylonians came to her, to the bed of love, and in their lust they defiled her. After she'd been defiled by them, she turned away from them in disgust. When she carried on her prostitution openly and exposed her naked body, I turned away from her in disgust, just as I had turned away from her sister. Yet she became more and more promiscuous as she recalled the days of her youth, when she was a prostitute in Egypt. There she lusted after her lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose emissions were like that of horses. So you longed for the lewdness of your youth, when in Egypt your bosom was caressed and your young breasts fondled. Therefore, Aholibar, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will stir up your lovers against you, those you turned away from in disgust, and I will bring them against you from every side, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, the men of Pekod and Shoah and Koa, and all the Assyrians with them, handsome young men, all of them governors and commanders, chariot officers and men of high rank, all mounted on horses. They will come against you with weapons, chariots and wagons, and with a throng of people. They will take up positions against you on every side, with large and small shields and with helmets. I will turn you over to them for punishment, and they will punish you according to their standards. I will direct my jealous anger against you, and they will deal with you in fury. They will cut off your noses and your ears, and those of you who are left will fall by the sword. They will take away your sons and daughters, and those of you who are left will be consumed by fire. They will also strip you of your clothes and take your fine jewellery. So I will put a stop to the lewdness and prostitution you began in Egypt. You will not look on these things with longing, or remember Egypt any more. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am about to deliver you into the hands of those you hate, to those you turned away from in disgust. They will deal with you in hatred and take away everything you have worked for. They will leave you stark naked and the shame of your prostitution will be exposed. Your lewdness and promiscuity have brought this on you, because you lusted after the nations and defiled yourself with their idols. You have gone the way of your sister, so I will put her cup into your hand. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. You will drink your sister's cup, a cup large and deep. It will bring scorn and derision, for it holds so much. You will be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, the cup of ruin and desolation, the cup of your sister Samaria. You will drink it and drain it dry, and chew on its pieces, and you will tear your breasts. I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Since you have forgotten me and turned your back on me, you must bear the consequences of your lewdness and prostitution. The Lord said to me, Son of man, will you judge a hola and a holibar? Then confront them with their detestable practices, for they have committed adultery and blood is on their hands. They committed adultery with their idols. They even sacrificed their children whom they bore to me.
as food for them. They have also done this to me. At the same time they defiled my sanctuary and desecrated my Sabbaths. On the very day they sacrificed their children to their idols, they entered my sanctuary and desecrated it. This is what they did in my house. They even sent messengers for men who came from far away, and when they arrived you bathed yourselves for them, applied eye makeup, and put on your jewellery. You sat on an elegant couch, with a table spread before it, on which you had placed the incense and olive oil that belonged to me. The noise of a carefree crowd was around her. Drunkards were brought from the desert, along with men from the rabble, and they put bracelets on the wrists of the women, and her sisters, and beautiful crowns on their heads. Then I said about the one worn out by adultery, Now let them use her as a prostitute, for that is all she is. And they slept with her. As men sleep with a prostitute, so they slept with those lured women, a hola and a holibar. But righteous judges will sentence them to the punishment of women who commit adultery and shed blood, because they are adulterous and blood is on their hands. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Bring a mob against them, and give them over to terror and plunder. The mob will stone them and cut them down with their swords. They will kill their sons and daughters, and burn down their houses. So I will put an end to lewdness in the land, that all women may take warning and not imitate you. You will suffer the penalty for your lewdness and break the consequences of your sins of idolatry. Then you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. Ezekiel chapter 24 In the ninth year, in the tenth month, on the tenth day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, record this date, this very date, because the king of Babylon has laid siege to Jerusalem this very day. Tell this rebellious people a parable, and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Put on the cooking pot, put it on, and pour water into it. Put into it the pieces of meat, all the choice pieces, the leg and the shoulder. Fill it with the best of these bones. Take the pick of the flock. Pile wood beneath it for the bones. Bring it to the boil and cook the bones in it. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the city of bloodshed, to the pot now encrusted, whose deposit will not go away. Take the meat out, piece by piece, in whatever order it comes. For the blood she shed is in her midst. She poured it on the bare rock. She did not pour it on the ground where the dust would cover it. To stir up wrath and take revenge, I put her blood on the bare rock, so that it would not be covered. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to the city of bloodshed. I too will pile the wood high. So heap on the wood and kindle the fire. Cook the meat well, mixing in the spices, and let the bones be charred. Then set the empty pot on the coals till it becomes hot and its copper glows, so that its impurities may be melted and its deposit burned away. It has frustrated all efforts. Its heavy deposit has not been removed, not even by fire. Now, your impurity is lewdness, because I tried to cleanse you, but you would not be cleansed from your impurity. You will not be clean again until my wrath against you has subsided. I, the Lord, have spoken. The time has come for me to act. I will not hold back. I will not have pity, nor will I relent. You will be judged according to your conduct and actions, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, 
with one blow, I am about to take away from you the delight of your eyes. Yet do not lament or weep or shed any tears. Groan quietly. Do not mourn for the dead. Keep your turban fastened and your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your moustache and beard or eat the customary food of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning, and in the evening my wife died. The next morning I did as I had been commanded. Then the people asked me, Won't you tell us what these things have to do with us? Why are you acting like this? So I said to them, The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the people of Israel, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am about to desecrate my sanctuary, the stronghold in which you take pride, the delight of your eyes, the object of your affection. The sons and daughters you left behind will fall by the sword, and you will do as I have done. You will not cover your moustache and beard or eat the customary food of mourners. You will keep your turbans on your heads and your sandals on your feet. You will not mourn or weep, but will waste away because of your sins and groan among yourselves. Ezekiel will be a sign to you. You will do just as he has done. When this happens, you will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. And you, son of man, on the day I take away their stronghold, their joy and glory, the delight of their eyes, their heart's desire, and their sons and daughters as well, on that day a fugitive will come to tell you the news. At that time your mouth will be opened, you will speak with him, and will no longer be silent. So you will be assigned to them, and they will know that I am the Lord. Father God, thank you for all we have just listened to. You are my victorious Lord. Help me each day to grow in your love, peace and joy. Amen. For more resources to help you bring the word to life, go to premier.org.uk forward slash Bible. This reading has been taken from the NIV Bible Biblica and is published by Hodder and Stoughton. 